So there's a um, index of agreement to uh, look at models called Nash and Sutcliffe uh, index. And uh, it's basically uh, some with some scaling and offset, it's basically average error squared divided by spread of predicted data around the true mean. So uh, there was a 2018 paper looking at this. And um, you can see this is uh, the index and uh, it's basically the square, square on top and uh, variance on the bottom. Altern alternatively, you can think of it as uh, basically squared error divided by variance. <clears throat> As authors state, uh, it often overestimates larger values of observed data. Alternatively, uh, this uh, authors of this 2018 paper um, used uh, Lee Gates and McCabe index to compare machine learning models, where, um, as authors stated, errors and differences are given appropriate weights without inflating their square values. Um, and the reason is is because it uses the absolute values. Here you see there's no squares, so the outliers are not, you know, uh, destroying the index. <clears throat> um, another paper compared benefits of different indices of agreement and mentioned um, some things. So uh, this this first paper is this one in advances in June software. The second paper. Um, is let me show you this paper refined index of model performance in uh, i guess this one was in climatology um so this uh climatology paper uh, the author said um, many other existing indices are bounded on the upper end usually by one um and uh but lack uh find it lower bound like uh Gates and McCabe index, which makes assessments and comparisons of poorly performing models difficult. So um, the reason is um, this is because the worst model will give an infinitely negative Gates index instead of zero. Uh, and I'll show you why. Okay, so. Um, uh, if you have a very large uh, predicted values, uh, it will show up as a large number only on the top. And uh, it will give you a very large fraction here, much greater than one. And so then you have one minus something very large, it will be negative. And if uh, this is infinite, you know, then uh, it's infinity divided by something will be infinity, negative infinity. So this will be negative infinity. Um, so that's the drop off of this Lee Gates and McCabe. Uh, so the authors that, you know, compared different indices in a climatology paper, um, concluded that newer versions of Wilmot index, uh, are preferred for machine learning model comparisons because, um, Wilmot index goes from zero to one. So the worst model is going to be zero. And the best model is one, which is intuitive as well. Um, the 2018 paper showed a table of comparison of Legates and Nash indices as well as Wilmot for models predicting concrete strength. Um, let's see. I'll show you. Um, so this is Legates uh, numbers. This is Wilmot's numbers. Um, and so you can see some of them are near one. And uh, uh, I don't see the, I guess the, they didn't even uh, implement Nash here since it, um, basically uh, they just said it's not as good. So so you probably don't want to use uh, Nash index uh, so from the 1970s and uh, it's uh, has some problems. <clears throat> 